Well, hello there. I'm Emrys from CruiseHive.com. I hope those of you in the US had a nice Thanksgiving and you're all enjoying the Black Friday sales. Are you ready for another cruise news update? Let's go. We've got a busy cruise news update for you this week across the major cruise lines. Also, do stick around as we will get into those details on why the crew is not so happy with Norwegian Cruise Line as a much-loved privilege is being taken away. We've also got coverage on parking limits for Carnival passengers, lobster changes for Royal Caribbean and Carnival, a cruise passenger rescue, and the final Princess Cruises ship finally returns to service. Well, there's lots to get into, so your cruise news update begins now. We start with the new Carnival Celebration cruise ship, which is now sailing out of Port Miami, Florida, after being christened at the new Terminal F. The star-studded naming ceremony took place on November 21st and included appearances by cruise line executives, shipyard executives from Mayor Turku, where the Carnival Celebration was constructed, of course, the ship's godmother Cassidy Gifford, as well as key figures for different elements of the ship. In addition to the ship's christening, the evening included special onboard dedications as well as the ribbon cutting ceremony for the cruise line's new Port Miami terminal. Also aboard was a record number of back-to-back -back guests, 200 passengers who just completed the ship's maiden voyage, which was a 40-night transatlantic sailing from Southampton, England. Carnival Celebration departed Miami on Monday, November 21st on her first Caribbean sailing, which was a six-night Eastern Caribbean itinerary, with the vessel making its maiden Caribbean call at Grand Turk on November 23rd. Other calls during the voyage include Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic and Nassau in the Bahamas. The ship will home port from Miami year-round, offering Eastern, Western, and Southern Caribbean itineraries. Carnival Celebration accommodates more than 6,000 guests and features more than 20 dining venues and a dozen bars and lounges across six unique zones and more than 2,600 staterooms. The ship's top deck features the award-winning all-electric Bolt Roller Coaster. Well, do you have any plans to cruise on the new Carnival Celebration? Are you excited about the new ship? Do let us know in the comments below. The ship that was in the headlines for all the wrong reasons back in early 2020 has finally made a comeback. Yes, that's the Diamond Princess cruise ship, which welcomed guests back on board for the first time since their industry-wide shutdown. The ship kick-started its inaugural sailing out of San Diego on Sunday, November 20th, and became the final ship in the fleet to return to service. The Diamond Princess is a welcome sight for the port of San Diego by helping to increase tourism for the city and support local businesses. The port expects its busiest cruise season since 2010, as the cruise industry is fully back sailing and vessels have shifted from sailing Alaska to further south from the US West Coast. The Princess cruise ship was originally scheduled to restart operations on September 1st, 2022, but the cruise line had to delay their return, of course, due to labor challenges. Princess cancelled 11 departures from San Diego from September 1st through November 13th. Guests were already offered replacement options on board the Discovery Princess and Crown Princess. The vessel is offering a series of new itineraries from 5 to 16 days, including the Mexican Riviera, California coast, and Hawaii. Guests sailing on upcoming cruises aboard Carnival Miracle out of the port of Long Beach, California, will have difficulty parking at 
the terminal and are being urged to make alternative arrangements if they plan to drive to the port. Carnival Cruise Line has contacted impacted guests about the limit, including options for parking off-site if needed. No explanation is given for why cruise terminal parking is not available, but the email is designated for Carnival Miracle Long Beach departures and does not give an indication of how many sailings may be impacted. The presence of three home ported ships may also be overwhelming parking availability and Carnival Miracle with a guest capacity of just 2,124 is the smallest of the Carnival ships at Long Beach. Carnival Cruise Line has arranged secure parking for cruise guests at the nearby Long Beach Convention Center located at 300 East Ocean Boulevard across the Los Angeles River from the port facility. Cruise guests can drop off their luggage and travel party at the cruise terminal in the designated drop-off area, where drivers will be provided with directions to the convention center parking area. On-site signage will also direct drivers to the proper parking facility at the convention center, and a complimentary shuttle will run between the convention center and the cruise terminal both for embarkation and deparkation. The Spirit Class Carnival Miracle is currently offering three to six night Baja and Mexican Riviera itineraries with three upcoming Carnival Journeys 14 night cruises to Hawaii with departures on November 27th, January 8th and February 19th. Well, what do you think about that? Will that impact you? Do let us know in the comments below. And just before we continue with cruise line dining changes, a carnival passenger rescue and the Norwegian crew not liking what was taken away. If you do find the video informative, then please do feel free to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the Cruise Hive YouTube channel. In recent days, two cruise lines have made changes to their main dining room menus, both of which impact the tremendously popular broiled lobster tail offered on specific evenings. Royal Caribbean is testing a charge for multiple lobster tails ordered in the main dining room aboard the Oasis class Symphony of the Seas. A charge of $16.99 plus an 18% gratuity will be added to a guest's account for ordering a second lobster tail. The first lobster tail remains free of charge. Carnival Cruise Line is also making changes to its main dining room that will dramatically impact lobster availability. Since November 7th, the Cruise Line has added a $5 charge to all third, fourth and higher entrees to the main dining room, though the first and second entrees remain complimentary as do all appetizers and desserts. Ordering several broiled lobster tails will now incur that extra entree charge. However though, just at the $5 rate, the same as for any other extra entree, with no higher charge specifically for lobster. Well, are you a lobster lover? Do you like enjoying eating lobster during your cruise? How does this impact you? What do you think? I would love to know what you think in the comments below. There was some very worrying news that came from the Carnival Valor cruise ship while sailing in the Gulf of Mexico towards the island of Cozumel in Mexico this past week. A male passenger was reported missing at approximately noon on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 24th from the Conquest class Carnival cruise ship. The last time the individual was seen was at a bar aboard the ship with his sister. According to her, he left the bar to find a restroom at approximately 11 p.m. on Wednesday, November 23rd and was not seen again. His sister reported him missing the next day at approximately noon, at which time the cruise ship began emergency measures to locate the guest, including using the public address system to ask him to report to guest services and engaging staff members to search on the board. As search and rescue operations were underway, all marine traffic in the region 
where the guest was reported missing had been alerted to keep a lookout for a possible man overboard. Carnival Valor had earlier retraced its routes to support the search and rescue operation, but was later released from that duty by the US Coast Guard and resumed its course towards Cozumel. When the man was spotted, the United States Coast Guard was immediately alerted and a Jayhawk helicopter was dispatched and able to hoist the man into the aircraft. He was taken to New Orleans Lakefront Airport, five miles northeast of downtown New Orleans, where he was met by emergency medical personnel. While there is no doubt the man was extremely lucky to be found, and we're really glad we're not reporting how overboard situations usually end. Our thoughts are with him and his family, and we hope for a speedy recovery. And finally, we come to Norwegian Cruise Line, which has angered crew members recently by removing a much enjoyed privilege on board. Working on board a cruise ship is one of the most challenging careers there is. You are away from friends and family for many months and work 10 hours per day, seven days per week. Experienced crew and officers often have additional benefits on board to make those months a little easier, including access to guest areas and having a cabin steward for certain staff cabins. Norwegian Cruise Line is now taking those benefits away from crew members that have a rank of fewer than two stripes. The cruise line said that it was due to making sure the guest experience was consistent. This means that most of the crew will be restricted to only using amenities in crew member areas while off shift. The changes also include the removal of a room steward for staff and officer cabins. Giving supervisors, staff, members and officers a chance to eat inside a restaurant once in a while or use the guest gym occasionally seems too much for NCL. However, it fits into the significant number of recent cutbacks we've seen on multiple cruise lines lately. Crew members will be able to request access to enjoy the guest areas, but how often this can be done is not known. So what do you think about the cruise line taking away the crew privileges? Could other cruise lines follow? Do let us know in the comments below. It was no doubt another busy week across the cruise industry and we've got all the coverage over on CruiseLive.com of course, including the 4th Virgin Voyages cruise ship reaching a major construction milestone, the first still cut for the new Silver Seas vessel, new details released on TUI's Mineshift 7, a popular activity returning to Royal Caribbean, delays announced for future Norwegian Cruise Line Prima class cruise ships, Wonder of the Seas begins sailings out of Port Canaveral and loads more news all over on the website. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Cruise Hive YouTube channel. I'm Memories from CruiseHive.com. Thanks again everyone for your time and I'll see you all soon.